Asia Wilson loyalist Cheryl Swoops discredits Nafisa Collier's heroics okay. despite hard-fought win versus the New York Liberty. <sighs> Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl. Jeez. Um, the New York Liberty created history in game one against the Minnesota Lynx, but at what cost? <laughs> In the most watched WNBA Finals game in history, with viewership peaking at 1.5 million viewers, the top seeded Liberty <coughs> lost an 18 point lead to lose 95 to 93 in overtime. However, even though the Lynx went from looking exhausted to invincible, Shell Swoops had a conflicting take on this. <laughs> In 2024, Soup's reputation has been reduced to being a Caitlin Clark critic and an Asia Wilson supporter. The WNBA legend's controversial opinions often make headlines, and this time she has taken aim at Nafisa Collier, the runner-up to Asia Wilson in the MVP race, scored a game saving 21 points in a team high, nine rebounds and four assists to script their comeback along with Courtney Williams' 23 points and Kayla McBride's 22. Yet she couldn't impress Swoops, who felt the Lynx game was lackluster. I didn't think they paid, played well, the retired three-time MVP said on the Queens of the Court podcast, adding, I thought Nafisa played okay for Nafisa. But overall, I was like, Minnesota, are you still in Minnesota? However, Swoops' judgment wasn't one-sided, and she also criticized the Liberty's mentality. If you're the Liberty, you may have just lost the championship, she further told host Jordan Robinson. Here's what I felt happened with the Liberty. I'll be honest, it was not Minnesota's defense. I feel like the Liberty was like, we're up by 15, we're going to win this game. Yeah, and they just got stagnated. They were running out the clock. Um, so, listen, uh, Nafisa Collier is a star, and I, I feel like, look, I didn't see the entire game, but I feel like, you know, Cheryl Seuss has a right to her opinion in this case. I mean, it didn't sound like she was throwing shade. It sounded like she was just being a commentator, but her history as a hater, um, a Caitlin Clark hater, uh, makes people think any kind of, you know, critique she gives of the game maybe tinged with hate and malice. And one thing this guy might not know is that Nafisa Kalia is a sister. <laughs> and Cheryl Swoops ain't this is no sister, man. She ain't. So I think this was fair criticism, man. <laughs> I think this was fair criticism because if Miss Fisa Kalia was a was a was a snow was a Becky or a, a snow bunny, I think yeah you have I, you could probably see this as hate, but Cheryl Swoops is drawing her line in the stand. She's she she is not out here gonna take no shots at no sister. Um, let me look at this again, man. She said. I thought Nafisa played okay for Nafisa. But overall, I was like, Minnesota, are you still in Minnesota? What part of the game was she talking about? She could have been talking about when they were down by 15. She could have been talking about that. Um, that's when she could have been talking about. Cheryl Swoops, uh, man, she's messed up her reputation so bad. Um by, by her lies. I mean, she doesn't just hate on Caitlyn. She lies. You know what I'm saying? So that's one telltale sign. We didn't see any lies here. She didn't tell us like Nafisa was, you know, 42 and <laughs> takes 80 shots a game. <laughs> so she, so I don't know if this is necessarily hate. I think this just might be fair criticism of the game from a legend who she should her. She's destroyed her legacy because the new fans are Caitlin Clark fans, and we're always going to see you as a hater. It's going to take a lot of reconstructing your image, Cheryl, 
it's going to take a lot of work to repair what you've done this year. Um, and do I think she, I think she's too proud to do that. I think she's more like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's got like an attitude like, <laughs> Like, I don't think she would try to repair her image with the new fans. I don't think she would try to ingratiate herself to new fans. I think she's too proud and too arrogant, you know what I'm saying, um, to, to do that. So I think she's always going to have, like, uh, her image is always going to be tainted because most of the new fans are Caitlin Clark fans. And half, and that's, like, more than half, if you look at the ratings, that's more than half of the fans. <laughs> and you know, when you when you um, tick off half, more than half of the fans, man, you in trouble. Um, so yeah, too bad she can't cr- cr- she can't make comments on games without it being interpreted as hate. And I don't even know if this is guy's a is a is a Clayton Clark fan. He's just a, a writer somewhere. Um, get in the comment section, man. Hit the like button. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out of here.